Hello, Winnipeg pastors, ministers, faith leaders, Christians. My name is John Schaffner. I've been a pastor in the city for almost seven years now, and I love this city. God has called us here. God has planted us here and really have a heart for Winnipeg. And I want to let you know about an incredible opportunity for Winnipeg to reach the world. Um, and so I want to introduce you now to a great friend. Uh, over the last four years, Stephen has become one of my closest friends and brothers. He really has. This brother is super solid. I know him. I know his family. You know, we've been over to each other's houses. We've prayed many times together. And so, Stephen, why don't you take a few minutes and let us know where you're from and kind of um, the, the opportunity that we're presenting to the Winnipeg uh, Ministers Network. Yeah, sure. Well, thanks so much for having me here, John. Um, yeah, so my name is Stephen Gray. Um, I was born and raised in in uh, just north of Winnipeg in Stonewall, Manitoba. Um, and but over the last you know twenty some years, I've I've been in Winnipeg. Proud to call the city my home. Um, I've been a filmmaker for about fifteen years of that. Um, and yeah, and for the last six years, I've been working on a feature length documentary. Uh, it's called After Death. And what's really exciting is it's going to be released through Angel Studios mm -hmm. um, in theaters October 27th. Um, so this, yeah, I directed this film. It's produced and directed from right here in Winnipeg, Manitoba. Um, this is where the whole kind of story originated. And the film is going to be playing in 1800 theaters across Canada and the United States. And it, it's being released through Angel Studios. So it's it's going to be the next film after The Sound of Freedom, which you know, kind of made waves in, in the, in the, in the theaters. And so, yeah, so we're really excited about it. Yeah. And Angel Studios also does The Chosen, right? That's right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So, they're the same team behind The Chosen. Yeah. And this is, this is supernatural. Uh, I've been praying and walking with Steven for the, the past four years, and he's been an incredible support to me, especially during a season when I really needed it. Uh, but we've been walking together, and I've seen God's hand in this from the very beginning. This is supernatural. So, Stephen, tell us a little bit about how unique this is, that this is happening, as far as a documentary on this uh, topic uh, being yeah. released as broadly as it is. So, the film is about near-death experiences, and I know um, for some uh, Christians, near-death experiences it can be like a little bit of a tricky topic. Um, but we interviewed five different New York Times bestselling authors. So there's people like uh, John Burke, who wrote Imagine Heaven, Don Don Piper, who tells a story from 90 Minutes in Heaven, Mary Neal from To Heaven and Back. And so there's, there's quite a variety of, of people, a lot from a Christian POV in, in the film. And they're sharing their experiences of um, of dying for a period of time. And all the accounts that we have in the film are all medically verified. So we didn't go seek and find stories that, you know, are a little bit hearsay, um, you know, really controversial. The ones that are in the film are all people who clinically died. And then we also interviewed doctors and, and scientists and people that have been studying this phenomenon for a number of years. And um, yeah, it's, it's very unusual, number one, that a documentary goes to theater. Typically, when a documentary goes to theater, It'll open up at, you know, 100, maybe 200 theaters. And usually in one country, it'll be Canada only, United States only. And more typically, if it does that, it's for one day or it's for two days. It's kind of an event. Um, what's really unique is that I don't think this has actually ever been like really been done on, at, to this scale before for a faith for a faith doc. Yeah. Um, our film opening up to 800, 1800 screens across Canada, and the United States actually puts us at the it, among the top 10 all-time docs ever in terms of release numbers, which is absolutely amazing. I mean, none of us could have planned that. Yeah. But to me, that is that is the supernatural component of this, is that, you know, the, the providential timing where this film is the next one that Angel Studios does, releases yeah. after The Sound of Freedom, which blew everybody's expectations out of the water. And so... Yeah your film in God's timing is is being presented to the to the world um, for such a time as this. And honestly, for me, I'm so excited. I've seen some of the, I had the privilege of seeing some of the early footage and some of the first editions of this film and it is gripping. like it is 
um, just it grips your heart the way these stories are woven together. And, and I firmly believe that people that are coming to the theater that are curious about the afterlife, this will crack the door of heaven to them. You know, just to say yeah. the possibility that there is something else next. There's another step after this life. There's another something. And then Jesus wants to be found. He's not playing hide and seek. And so once they crack that door, there's Jesus staring them in the face. There's the embrace yeah. of Jesus. And that's what we're hoping and praying for. So, Stephen, how can pastors in our city? I mean, this is something from Winnipeg. Come on, brothers and <laughs> sisters. This is <laughs> I'll be honest with you. I'm from the States and I've never heard of Winnipeg until I came here, until God sent me here. And yeah. this is something out of our city that is incredible, that has such massive gospel potential to change countless lives, to mm -hmm. save souls. And so I really want us to, to get behind a brother that is a, a, from our place, a part of our faith family here in Winnipeg and, and really, um, get behind this so Stephen how can we uh at this point get behind and support um this film yeah so it's really just a matter of awareness um like like you mentioned this film is actually really good for it's both good for Christians and for non-Christians yeah. like honestly I'm thinking of all my neighbors around right now all all friends that I have that are don't come from a faith background there's nothing this film is so perfect to sit them down with it wouldn't it, it's a try it's already a, you know kind of an interesting topic to a lot of people even outside the church but this film honestly it, it really does crack open the door at least to have that conversation you know about about heaven about hell about the reality of eternity you know where they're going to spend it and you know and then even what this life looks like here so I think it's I think it's a really good film to bring people that aren't Christian. And as well as, you know, my hope is that the church shows up as well. So it's going to be playing at um, at Polo Park Cineplex, uh, the Scotiabank uh, Theater there. Yeah, which well, is great. It's really cool. Like yesterday, right? <laughs> yeah, it just opened up just as, yet, as of yesterday. It should be playing in more theaters as well before October 27th, but we have that for sure. And uh, and we're also hoping if for anyone out as far as as Winkler, there might be a Winkler theater opening up for Manitoba. Um, but yeah, we would just love for Winnipeggers to show up and uh, and just to kind of let, you know, especially a big theater like that and Cineplex here, let them know that, you know, we want to see if more films like this. That's right. Yes. Yeah. yeah so it, it releases in theaters starting October 27th. And it's going to be playing for a whole week. And so it's a wide release, meaning that there should be multiple showings a day, just like any other movie theater, which is right. really cool. Um, yeah. And so it's just a matter of like bringing people, bringing people to to watch the film yeah. for awareness from now until October 27th. Um, I would just hope that people would share the trailer. I think the trailer is a really good way of kind of introducing them to the film. Um, we have a trailer on YouTube that um, that shows uh, it's both the trailer and it's a little message from Don Piper, 90 Minutes in Heaven, that kind of shares a little bit about the invitation to come watch the film. So I think that's a really good way of of, of doing that. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and, uh, you know, I'm a pastor of a church and I've, I've been praying for Stephen. Our church has been praying for Stephen and the team and his family and this film. And I would encourage you to join me and just praying that God would use this and blow expectations out of the water and he would do uh, exceedingly abundantly more than all we could ever ask or imagine um, and that um, the powers that make the decisions and in, um, in the industry uh, would receive the message loud and clear but even more so that lives would be touched that's it yes the blood sweat and tears it's i know stephen's heart like this mm -hmm. is this is for the gospel this is for the kingdom Right? It's yeah. not about notoriety. It's not about even Winnipeg, you know, be, being put on the map. No, it's it's about the gospel. Mm -hmm. It's about Jesus. And this is honestly, I think this is the best. This is the best thing I've ever seen. Uh, maybe with the exception of when I saw um, the Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe. Uh, that was an amazing film that I brought friends to, and then we had conversations after. Uh, but this could be even better because it's more explicit. The Lion, the Witch, and the Wardrobe, you know, you had to unpack the metaphors and the symbolism. But this is this is a topic, it's relevant to every person on the planet because all of us will eventually die. And all of us yeah. have that similar question of, is there anything after death? Yeah. So I would really encourage, if you have any questions, uh, you can reach out to me uh, and 
maybe reach out to Steve and he's been, he's super busy over these next two weeks, but I'm just super excited. And I hope that excitement is contagious. Uh, Stephen, any final words? Yeah, I just, um, just really briefly kind of sharing a little bit of the origin too. I mean, I made this film, I, I grew up a Christian all, all my, you know, all my young life and, um, went to church all my life. And so my brother-in-law was, he was killed in, in a car wreck. And that caused me to really ask difficult questions. I mean, that's the reason why I went on to create this film. And I was even asking the question of, you know, what am I even doing for God? You know, I'm a commercial filmmaker and doing all kinds of things in that space. But at the end of the day, you know, what matters, right? Like there's these products I'm selling. But so I felt like this was that call. This was that answer. It was I was using my gifts for God. And he's just really opened so many doors. Like that's where we're, that's how we got to where we are today, uh, that we have a film that's going out to that many theaters. So Amazing. yeah, I just, I just want to encourage people that this film is really, you know, for everyone. It is, it is. And it's rare that we have the opportunity to participate in something that has this much gospel potential. It really is. I mean, most of us, uh, you know, attend church and a lot of us even give sermons every Sunday. Um, and those are powerful and significant and lives are changed every week in our city, but it's rare that we get to uh, have the privilege of being a part of something uh, that, oh, that's been years in the making. And now here it is, right? It's about to be launched out into the world, this eruption of hope, this eruption of light into, you know, almost 2000 theaters across North America. And I'm just, I couldn't be more excited about it. And so I hope that excitement is contagious. And again, reach out if you have um, any questions. You know, we're going to try to buy up some tickets. Our church is. And I encourage you maybe to buy some tickets and, you know, maybe even hand tickets out to your church and just to encourage people to go and let them see it for themselves. And then once they see it for themselves, I promise you, they're going to want to bring family and friends again. Thank you for your time. Uh, thank you for your service and the way you're just sacrificially serving in our city. Uh, many of you are unsung heroes. And thank you for what you do.